Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Charlie's nursery tour. This is the second video in my house tour series, so if you want to go and check out that playlist, I will link it for you in the description box. Just a bit of background on his nursery. We live in a two bedroom house, so when we fell pregnant with Charlie, we knew we were going to have to either move or convert. So we decided to convert our attic into an attic nursery, and you access it just off our bedroom, which I'll show you in a second. We just basically had to rip this apart, sheet it, put in windows, and make it an actual room where he could stay. So without further ado, let's look at your room. So like I said, this is our bedroom here. So you access Charlie's room through this door here, which isn't fully framed off yet. But you basically come down the bottom of our room and it looked like there was a door here, but there's actually a full set of stairs that takes you up to his nursery. This will all be getting framed off shortly. It's not completely finished yet, but it's almost done. And then we have a little switch here that we are going to be changing to a silver switch. And then we just got this really nice kind of ribbed texture wallpaper going all the way up the stairs and finished it off with a nice edger all the way down the stairs so that we could paint in between here white. I just like the look of that against the carpet. And we've got a kind of grey thick pile carpet going all the way up to his room. All of the facings and everything are all white as well and then what I did is put these little cloud decals onto his wall just because I thought this was a big massive space going all the way up here and I wanted to fill the space with something so I went for the cloud design with the hot air balloons. I just think that looks so nice and it's still quite like neutral and it's not too babyish so it can be there for quite a long time. Plus I thought because we're going up the stairs, it makes you feel as if you're going up to the sky and up to the clouds. So I just thought that looked really nice in his room. And as you can see as well, we've also got spotlights going down here just because we needed a lot of light. The other thing I love about coming up here is that we've got this sort of wall cavity that comes in. And it's just a nice feature rather than having just a straight wall that we've got this kind of little retainer around here. I'm actually thinking about getting some little down lighters put underneath here. Just think that would look really nice. Love this paper as well. I do love a textured wallpaper. I think it makes the walls look really classy quite expensive and also it means that any bumps and stuff you don't really see them and on the subject of like bumps and bashes and dirty marks I got like a kind of gloss paint just so that it's easily wiped in case we have like I don't know anything scuffing going up the walls bringing things up and downstairs and as you walk up straight in front of you this is where we access the eaves of Charlie's room so we've just got this little door here that needs to be cut to size since the carpet got put down it's actually too big now so we're just going to chop that down and make it a little door there so we can get access to the eaves when we need to and then as you pan round the room as you can see he has got quite a lot of floor space it is a big nursery and he's in there having a play just now just entertaining himself while I do this just as you come up the stairs we've got this nice piece of wall here so I decided to put three prints on these prints are from the Senio and I love the fact that they're kind of like animals quite boyish but also still quite young I thought that wee print was really cute the giraffe one's always been a favourite of mine and then the elephant just tying in the cream and the kind of grey tones as well these little frames here are just from Pound Land they're so so light and that's the reason why I got them I like the fact they're just an ice cream colour as well and they're just stuck on with those commands and picture hanging strip so easy to do and the Senio are amazing. I did have a discount code. I might see if I can get another one for you guys to use. But yeah, the Senio are amazing. I just love them. I also love the finish on all of the walls up here because we've put like a white edger down the edge of them just to make sure that it looks nice and sharp and clean. And then when you come into the room, you realise that obviously it's got the eaves, that kind of classic attic shape, which I just think adds so much character. I absolutely love it. I think it looks really nice. Again, as you can see, we've got spotlights all the way down here just to give us more light. In this section, here we do have a bit of dead space I'm planning on making this into a wardrobe space probably like an exposed wardrobe so I'm going to have some hanging nails and then also a little tray at the bottom to put all the shoes I've also got this gorgeous little button back chair that I managed to find on Amazon. I really wanted a button back chair that wasn't going to be too high at the back. Purely because we've got the trusses and the eaves, I didn't want it to look like it didn't fit in the room. So this one's actually really quite small. It's gorgeous and I love the kind of wooden legs as well. It just lifts the room up a little bit. And I just got this little fur throw also from Amazon. This colour of grey is just gorgeous because it's a warm grey, which is so hard to get a hold of. But I think that's amazing. At the back there we also have a radiator, it's quite a big one, I'm planning on covering that as well to make that an extra little shelf so we can pop some little arrangements on there, some ornaments, some bits and pieces, I just think that would be really nice especially for storage as well. And over here we've got Charlie's little elephant rocking horse and this is from my first years, I just think this is such a lovely feature to have in the room, a little rocking horse and he loves it, Ella loves it too and again being grey with his name engraved on it, it's just gorgeous, I'll leave links to everything that I mention in this video just in case you like 
like it for ideas for Christmas or if you've got a baby on the way you want something special then definitely have a look at them they are really lovely and they're also really affordable as well then panning round slightly next to Charlie's cot we've got these three storage boxes that are from Matalan I just think these are fab for a storage solution all the toys are in there bits and pieces general bits that I can't fit in any other drawers and then on to the main event which is Charlie's cot this cot was super affordable. This cost us about £50 in the Pram Centre sale and it's by Benito Baby. I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. It's just a really simple cot. And as you can see, he's pulling off my favourite blanket that he's got, which is just this little elephant one. It's actually from Ikea. It was about £12, I think. And I just think it's such a gorgeous tone. It's a really lovely stone colour. I also have this little hanging star, which is actually a Christmas decoration. But I just thought this kind of like driftwood looked gorgeous in his room. So I've hung that on his cot just to give it a bit more flavour and look a bit nicer. As you can see, I've sat Charlie's cot on this massive furry rug, which is actually from B. Name. I'd looked for one all over the internet and the ones that I seen were an absolute fortune they were so expensive but this one was actually only £15.99 I'm so impressed with it it's massive it's also kind of slip proof on the bottom so it doesn't move I just love the effect that it has it's almost like he's sleeping on a cloud are you having a little play in there are you having fun yes I love Charlie's bedding set. This set is from Mamas and Papas. I can't really remember. I think it might have been the Millie and Boris range. But I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Because it's the same kind of tones. It's got grey, cream and also a kind of brownie tone. Which is all the colours of his room. I just thought that was really gorgeous. We also got this in the sale. If you do have a baby on the way. Then make sure you check out the Mamas and Papas sale at Christmas time. This one came with the Star Duvet. Also the striped and quilted bumper. The bottom sheet and also a blanket as well. I just think that is so gorgeous. Peekaboo! Have you got hiccups? Have you got hiccups? And then the last kind of storage thing over here we have is this toy bag from my first years again. I love the fact that it's personalised, the colours are great, plus it's actually really big. So I put all the throws, any sleep bags, things that you can't really find places for go in this. And it just looks so gorgeous next to all the tones of his bedding. It just matches in it so well and I love the stars. Fraser and I really wanted to get a huge big low board for putting in this space here. Just because obviously it's not very tall. So what we did was we got the double set of Ikea drawers, the mam drawers. And then we also bought two smaller ones and sat them there for a TV unit. I think this works so well and it fits in perfectly. On there we've got a small TV that's got a new TV box attached to it. So we can put films on or TV programs. I've also got this little wooden rocking horse on there which I think is gorgeous. But I'm actually planning on spraying this white or a different colour, maybe grey. It's really lovely and this was actually from the card factory. We've also got a temporary lamp in there. This isn't the lamp that I want to keep. I haven't managed to find one that I actually like, so this one's making do for now. And then these drawers have got the IKEA storage boxes in them which really make a difference. And we've got the six big drawers which at the minute we're actually only really using two of them and then this one has loads of books in it. And they're also glass topped as well which makes a big difference when it comes to cleaning. Probably one of the biggest differences in this room was having the two Velux windows put in place. These make such a difference and they throw so much light into the room. I really worried that this room was going to be cold and also really dark but having these in makes such a difference and obviously the big radiator means it's really warm at night time. Also got these little blinds on them that already come attached. As you can see these aren't finished off around the edge yet, they're almost there. Just need to get the edger put on it and that'll be it finished. So there are a few things that still need done in the room. So we've got one here and then we've got one at the other side and having the blinds attached already really makes such a difference. Probably one of my favourite parts of Charlie's room is this little alcove up the back here. This was actually in place because that was where the water tank was. So we basically just boxed this out and made it a little shelf area and I think it looks so effective. Also this paper at the back here Fraser actually picked. It's a kind of metallic distress paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's by Graham Brown which you can get at B&Q. It's boyish enough that it can kind of grow up with them but it's still gorgeous that it can be babyish with them just now just depending on how you style it. And then in this little section over here we've got this little mamas and papas toy that my mum got him for Christmas before he was born. I've got a couple of ornaments that are from TK Maxx. This little helicopter here I just thought was so nice and kind of fitted in with that kind of cloud theme and travel and around the world with little animals etc. There's a bit of a crazy theme in here. Keeping with the elephant theme this was a present from a friend of mine which is just a little money bank. I've also got a Zazu penguin which matches in with the colours in the back really well with the yellow and the black and then I've also got this little globe here which is absolutely gorgeous again from TK Maxx. I think that was about £12.99 and I think the helicopter was maybe £14.99 so again really affordable. 
prints again are also from Decenio and they're also again in Poundland frames just because they're super light and they're not going to affect your wall and they're again put up with the command picture hanging strips love these just think they are so gorgeous and I think prints just add something extra to your room this little area is one of my favourites I just think it's absolutely gorgeous probably one of my favourite parts about this area is that when my dad was doing the lights I asked him to put in a couple of lights underneath so we've got down lighters in there making this a kind of display area that is just so gorgeous at night time when it's lit up so guys I hope you have enjoyed watching Charlie's nursery tour if you did please give it a big thumbs up and tell me what you thought in the comments as always anything that I've mentioned in this video I will link for you in the description box so you can go and have a look as well if you like it if you're new don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and I will see you in the next video bye